Alright, hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to make textures for Mountain Blade Warband or Mountain Blade Warband Napoleonic Wars. So we're going to start by going on Steam and right clicking Mountain Blade and bringing up the properties. And then under here you'll see something called local files. We're going to click browse local files. A window like this will open up. Once we're in here, we're going to go into modules and then polyonic cores and textures now in textures you'll see a lot of stuff here so for this tutorial let's choose to read skin the British KGL or King's German Legion now to do this I, I use Photoshop because it's good uh, another program you can use is paint but it's not as powerful and doesn't have the functionality as Photoshop so, I would say stick with Photoshop for now. You can torrent it or something. So, with Photoshop, you're going to need, a, if you have Photoshop, and you need to open a DDS file, which is what uh, Mountain Blade uh, texture formats use. As you can see, DDS. You're going to need this plugin for Photoshop, so go ahead and click download. The links will be in the description. And then, once you're here, uh, Find out if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit system, and once you do that, download the one that is for your system. I have a 64-bit, so... Alright, once it's done downloading, run the program. Uh, I've already installed it. Just go through the installation, and that's it. It doesn't matter if you have a cracked version. So, yeah. not saying that I do, but... Okay. Alright, so now that once you have that downloaded, go ahead and open up Photoshop. It doesn't matter. Okay, now we have Photoshop open. Let's grab, go back to our texture folder and take our desired uniform and just drag it in. Uh, low using default sizes, okay. All right, change of plan. I've decided to retexture the British Guard uniform. So here's what the British Guard uniform looks like in Photoshop. So first thing that I always do is I back up my main layer. So to do that, just drag the layer on your right all the way down to this. It's like a piece of paper folded. It'll make a copy, and I'll just hide that copy for now. So let's say we want a just just simple textures. Let's say we want a simple. Let's say we want the uniform to be a blue color. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab. We're gonna go over here and grab this tool. It's uh, right under the arrow or above the uh, eye drop. So we're going to get the magic wand tool and we're going to take the tolerance up at the top and we're going to turn the tolerance to 50. Let's see where that, see what we get. All right, 50 was a good tolerance. As you can see, almost all the red is selected. Go around and make sure that everything is good. And then what you can do is get down here and select the box tool or the box selector tool. Or you can do that by pressing M. And if you hold shift, a plus comes up next to the plus. <laughs> and you can just go in and highlight little bits that weren't highlighted. Alright, now that we've come to something like this, which isn't really, uh, which is more of an organic shape, what we can do is we can grab, or we'll go over to the lasso tool, and select the magnetic lasso. All you can get that just by holding down with the uh, left mouse button. Okay, get a little drop down. So the magnetic lasso tool is really good because it just goes onto the edges of the color. So you can easily just do this, and then just go back around until you get the little loop circle. And you can also click. But let's say you mess it up a little bit or something. All you can do is just press backspace and undo the dots that you messed up. We go around, boom, like that.
All right, that's it. Um, once you've done all that, I can get a little bit OCD and go into everything, but that's good enough for now. So once you've done that, uh, press Control C and Control V on your keyboard, and then what that'll do is if you go over to the eye over here in the layers and click your background copy, you'll have all the red selected in the new layer because you did Control C and Control V, so you copied it into a new layer. Now once you do that, I pack it up again because it's annoying to have to remake copies of things. So there you go. What you do is, what you can do is hold Control and go up to one of these boxes here, and you can see that that box comes up on your little mouse cursor. Click that, and it'll select that layer. So what we can do now is let's give it color. I said blue before, but it's gonna be whatever color. No, let's, let's have pink bandits or something. Um, I guess there. Um, I'm a little bit colorblind, so it's pink enough. There we go. So what we're gonna do now. All right. So now once you've done, you've gotten your color. You come over here to the uh, layer section again. You'll see something called normal, uh, where it says normal and next, next right next to opacity. Click normal, and you get all of these. And just click normal again, and it should be highlighted blue like that. Don't click anything else. Now go to your arrow keys and just hit down on them and it'll cycle through different see-through like type layers and what we can do and this will like keep the texture that's underneath and um, get a nicer layer. There you go that's that's pink on hue that, that looks pretty decent enough and so now we pink uniform uh, probably not too historical historically accurate. But, um, yeah, let's change this right here. These cuffs, I think, are what they're called. So again, we'll bring out the magic wand, select them real quick. Best we can. In here as well. Just like so. And then what you can do is come in this tool. Here, we'll, we'll just use the lasso to keep it simple. Um, come in and hold Alt. And what that'll do is it'll minus, so it's going to be subtracting anything that you select with the lasso. Same thing with the square. This one up here. So as you can see, it kind of went over. So if you hold Alt, come around like that, it'll deselect that. Well, we don't want this ball here, this button to be selected. There we go. It's good enough for now. Alright, that's good enough. It'll get it done. Ah, I can't. <laughs> I'll, be look I'll look at that. So there you go. No, that was wrong. I meant to add that. That's whatever. I don't even know if it changed, but yeah. That's good enough. So what we can do with that is Control C, Control V. Now all the blue bits are in a new layer, and do Shift F5 again. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but Shift F5 brings up that, and we'll make these. Um... Oh yeah, and also if you want to bring up the color, go to Use and click Color. Let's just make these um, red. What we can do is come up here to the normal thing, start going down. So we get a nice red. There you go, color. Color looks alright. There you go. Let's press escape as well. If you get the lasso gums too crazy. There we go, red and pink. So the colors have chosen. Now what else we can do? This is the arm, this is the top of the arm right here on the character. If we want, let's say, a flag of some sort. We can go on to Google. Here, Google. And let's type flag images. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a cool flag. What uniform is it? It's an English uniform, so let's grab this. Ah, uh, that'll do, I guess. View image. Good enough. 
when you're here, actually, what you can do is just do Control C, back in Photoshop, Control V, and there's the flag. Uh, and bring it up to the top layer. For now. And then press Control T, and this will bring up the move tools, like this. And you can spin around, hold Shift to make it like more aligned. Shift again, scale it down so it doesn't scale incorrectly. For now, I'm going to scale it a little bit incorrectly so we can get a better fit on the arm. And you don't want it too big because this is like half the arm, so actually smaller it is, it looks a bit better, so put it like that. And also this part of the arm right here will bend up so you don't want it too high. This is the top of the shoulder. There you go. That is our texture for now. Let's go in the game and see how it looks. So once, so you just do Shift Control Save and click EDS. Click Save. Oh, actually, make sure it's in the right place. I took mine from a different folder. So make sure if you click here, you can see Bionic Wars textures. It's where you want it to be. Click Save. Click Yes, I want to replace it. Save. Load. And it's done. So go down to Mount Blade, click play. All right, so go ahead and click host a game, click start map, click the country that you made your skin for. Uh, for me, it was the foot guard, so it's the cold stream. As you can see, the uniform is now pink. This is for a texture that I made, or for a regiment that I made this for. So now when I spawn in, Spawn as the rifleman officer. He was a Scottish officer. Sco so he wanted and he liked rifles. So it's a rifleman officer's uniform with a kilt and uh, some sort of scarf sash thing. And you can kind of see his name with some medals there. I also took. There you go. Actually, that's it. I also changed the sword from the light sword. Oh, that's a different sword that I made in. Maya, that's different, but you can see that the, um, I think the sheath is different from the light, from the light, uh, Calvary sword. But yeah, I can do that in a more advanced tutorial if I get a whopping five likes on this video. I will do a tutorial on BRF opener and normal maps. I'll most likely do more normal maps, but not BRF. I need five likes. <laughs> so, um, if you have any questions at all, Please let me know in the comments and I'll help you out. So, um, yep. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.